Hey, good morning everyone. Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. Just a quick video today because I discovered yesterday like one of the most poisonous plants that you can have in your garden. And I've just done some research on it and my mind is kind of blown and I'm going to go and take it out. When I was growing up, we had a a neighbor, the next door neighbor had a Chinese chestnut tree. And at certain times, I guess when it was flowering or putting out seeds, I don't know, it smelled, it was just pervasive. The whole street smelled bad. And that's kind of what I, it wasn't quite that bad, but it was, it was all over, and I got a big, you know, area here. So I, I thought, what, what is it? I have no idea. Well, it was, I put in 13 hours yesterday after a solid four days of, we had sunny weather and I had my helper here for four days and we got so much done. Well, then my mower came in the afternoon and I was out late and I was driving around. I like to drive my four wheeler around the property and you know, when I'm so exhausted, I can't walk. I just check on everything and I, I just went by the vineyard, which is nine, my nine grapevines, which are loaded, by the way, fingers crossed. And I noticed this plant I hadn't seen before, you know, right at the base. So I went in for a closer sniff and that was the smell. And so we're going to go down there, but I'm going to wear gloves. I wasn't wearing gloves yesterday. You are not supposed to touch even touch this plant, although it has a beautiful flower. Let's head down there. Okay, here it is. And you can see, if you weren't really observant, you might just go right past this and think, oh, that's just part of the grape leaves because the grape leaves are so similar in shape. Isn't that funny? But all parts of the plant are toxic and you need to handle with gloves. There is a seed pod that has huge spines on it. And I want to make sure and get this, this is supposed to be a beautiful plant and this is supposed to have beautiful flowers, but I don't want to take the chance that this plant is going to put off any seeds and I want it out. Woo! I saw online that it comes out pretty easily. Now that has touched my arm, so I'm going to go inside and be sure and wash it. But here is the plant. I just got that on the back of my arm, but you can have a toxic reaction to just touching it. But also it has hallucinogenic effects and you can wind up dead if you consume it. Now this plant has, <laughs> like many plants, have, has been used as medicinal medicine for centuries. But you have to know what you're doing and you're taking a huge risk with your life. And it's, in my opinion, it's not worth it. Now the flowers are closed. Well, <laughs> can't touch it. Let's go in for a closer look. Let me get the other plant out. So that's the other one, and I think it stinks. I'm just going to take a quick look around and make sure that's all. I wanted to get this ground cherry out also. 
Once again, this is in the nightshade family, and this is such invasive, but they both are invasive weeds. This is another invasive weed. It just gets eaten up by bugs, so it must taste good. But I want to get the invasive weeds away from my grapes. Okay, I found one more on the other side. This is, this is the Datura, but this is also in the nightshade family, and this is, I have so much of this, it's so invasive. And I'll put the name on the screen, it temporarily escapes me. Okay, just wanted to give you a look at the seed pod closer up. And it, it has these trumpet flowers that open at night. And that's one reason it's called moonflower. But there's another moonflower. We'll talk about that in a second. Phew, I think it stinks. This is about the size they get, maybe a little bit bigger. Okay. And because these are pretty shot, I'm just going to get rid of those. I was very happy to see the selection of zinnias right here. I think that's very pretty and I that's a total accident. I didn't plan that. Okay, we're back up. I'm so <laughs> worried that I got something on my on my hands and I've got hair all in my face. <sighs> there we go. Okay, back here under the shelter of the maple tree as it starts to rain, we're looking at four or five days of rainy weather, which is why I worked so hard the last four to try to get things together. Got the terraces, two terrace, terraces, weed paper down and mostly planted, a few plants to go in, but it'll be very easy. And some updates on the raised garden. Haven't gotten a handle on the flower garden at all. There's wire around it, the hot wire, but uh, got to do a lot of work in there and I've got to rescue the side garden. So lots to do here, but I just wanted to alert you about this plant because maybe you think, oh, the flowers are beautiful. Maybe you have children that might get in. You don't want to have this plant if you have young children, if you have pets. There's a lot of information online and this plant has at least 12 names, one of which is called thorn apple for the seed pod, and Jimson, let's see, Jimson weed, and Jamestown weed, because it was evidently discovered in Jamestown, Virginia. And in West Virginia, there were some teenagers that got into this because the effects of consuming this or smoking it can be hallucinogenic but then you, 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 you can die. And <laughs> they, it was an article on PubMed about these various cases and what you know, doctors should look for symptom-wise if, if uh, people come in with these symptoms. So you just don't want to take a chance. And of course, you don't want rashes and, and problems with, with your skin either, just so that you can see a beautiful flower. And I mean, I think it smells bad. Maybe it's just because it's so oppressive, uh, but I, I don't care for it at all. By the way, the Datura moonflower is not to be confused with moonflower. I actually seeded these back in February 
and they never came up. I don't know what I did wrong, but I mean, the seeds are kind of old. But I just thought, isn't that beautiful? Why can't I have that here now? And this, and this morning when I looked up this, this plant, or last night when I moved, looked up the plant, it said moonflower, and I'm going, moonflower? That can't be this, and it's not. The, this plant, the Datura, is in a different, in the night, it's in the nightshade family, and this is in a different family. So just wanted to clear that up. They both have beautiful flowers. They both bloom at night and they both have the trumpet flowers. Uh, but I'm gonna put all of the names of the Datura on the screen so you can see. It's been called a lot of things over the ages, so be aware. Uh, take a look around your place. I've been here four years. This is the first time I've smelled it or seen it. I did have manure delivered, you know, I had a few videos on that last fall. It's seasoned, and we went ahead and put manure at the base of all of the uh, grapevines. And so I'm assuming it came out of that, although I can't imagine a horse would, <laughs> it would be its first choice to nibble on that and then pass the seeds through its uh, digestive system. I find that hard to believe. So it could be a bird uh, bringing it in from somewhere but just uh, wanted to alert you on that, and I hope that's helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, share with a friend. Find ways to support the channel underneath each video. Please hit the like button on your way out. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. God bless.